Hello, welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Sean Dyche has held his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's trip to Crystal Palace tomorrow night in the third round of the FA Cup. Uh, the first question Sean Dyche faced today was how he can get Everton back to the levels when they won four games on the spin. This is what the manager had to say. Uh, yeah, I think that's the key to the bigger picture is the performance levels have been very good. Um, we didn't get the two results against um, City and Spurs, as you said, um, but the performances were there. First time we'd stepped away, I mentioned after the game, really, with our performance level since Villa, but a different aspect to it. Injuries, suspensions, all taking their toll over the last few weeks. Um, and eventually, I think the, the players, the, the game schedule, which, don't get me wrong, I'm not changing the storyline, it's there, we all get on with it. Um, but it did catch up with us. The, the, I think that was quite obvious with the performance. With that in mind, then. Sean Dykes was then asked if Everton have any plans to bring in any new players now that the January transfer window was open. He, obviously, Kevin Thelwell had uh, done an address to supporters before the Manchester City game, saying it was likely to be a quiet month. Journalists are going to ask Sean Dykes every time if there's any plans to bring in players in this window. This is how the manager responded to that one. To do any deal, you know, there has to be finance involved. There has to be the club has to be in a situation to do the deals. We had to work very hard. Um, Kev certainly had to work hard to construct deals that could be worked into the way the club were in the summer. We managed to do that, as we said. Managed to rebalance the squad the best we could. We had to lose some players as well. Um, the situation is similar but different. You know, it's you never know the twists and turns of football. Our deals present themselves, but at this moment in time, it's very likely to be quiet. Would the takeover going through make any discernible difference to the ability? Well, yeah, again, we'll see because they've been very casual with their information to us because it's not a done deal yet. So, therefore, they said, look, we're not going to get involved in things because, you know, all the due diligence, the checks and everything. So, they're very, they're very upfront with us. You know, I did say we had a very casual chat about life at Everton, what it was. They were picking our brains about learning about it um, and becoming more informed. But that was it. No. And finally, from the press conference, Dice was asked for an injury update ahead of the game tomorrow. This is what the manager had to say about that one. Just about, but, but it would be a touch and go scenario. And Idris Gay as well, what's happening with him? Will he go to AFCON? He probably will. He's still here at the moment receiving treatment. Um, but if that treatment comes to an end, which it probably will do, maybe over the week and early next week, and then, of course, their, their power is to call him up. Uh, and any further updates <coughs> on Excuse Ashley Young and, and Delhi as well? Yeah, Delhi's uh, still, uh, you know, he's been assessed. It's a, you know, he's got a, an, an injury that still needs time. It did do anyway. We've been trying to take the, the heat away from that to allow him time. But of course, it's fair everyone asked the question. Um, Youngie, he's, uh, he was out on the grass today, but on the medical side. So he's still got a bit to go, but it's good to see him back. So good news there that the core is back in training, but obviously, as the manager said, he is touch and go for the game at Palace tomorrow night. Everton defender Ben Godfrey has been linked with a move to Newcastle United. This is following on from being linked to Spurs last week. A report of fee of around £9 million has been mooted for Godfrey, who turns 26 later this month. He's only played three times for Everton this season. And finally, Everton have recalled young defender Rhys Welsh from his loan at EFL League Two side Forest Green Rovers. Uh, uh, Welsh, who's 20, has played 23 times for Forest Green in the first part of the season. But Everton have recalled him and want him to go on loan somewhere else. James Vaughan is sorting that one out. Um, and we'll see where Reese ends up. That is it for the News Daily. The match preview is out now for the Crystal Palace game. Make sure you check that one out. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. See you later.